just do it. <clears throat> Some names send out vibrations on the earth. The names that we call and vibrations affect the environment, the atmosphere, our mind, our bodies. Just like what music can affect our mood, whether or not we feel angry or motivated, sleepy, relaxed. So names carry spiritual vibrations. And this is why whatever we allow into our vessel is very, very important. Certain frequencies and tones. Did you know you can weaponize frequencies? Radio waves, 75% of our bodies is comprised of water. Exactly. Ancient witchcraft. On a low level, you see the um, charmer playing a certain tune and the snake comes out of the basket. <clears throat> so music, vibrations, frequencies, names, sounds, tones, can either help or hurt us. So names matter. <clears throat> Shalom. Barakatai Yahawah. Barakatai Yahawah Shai. Barakatai Yahawah. Barakatai Yahawah Shai. Call Halayim La. Yahawah. Bahashem Yahawah Shai. Bahashem. Rekha Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahawah. In the name of his son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. <clears throat> His name must be magnified. His name must be magnified. <clears throat> so in the current environment, the current rulership, they've pushed a satanic do what thou wilt spirit. So you have this nonchalant, perverse spirit here in spiritual Sodom in Egypt, the daughter of Babylon, where I can call the Lord, yo, play yogurt if I please. That's the mindset. And Jake refused to receive correction and rebuke because they don't fear the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So there's this carefree spirit in Jake, our women, you can't tell me what to do. And Jake will not say I'm wrong or admit I'm, I'm wrong. They won't do it. So most Israelites are off. Most Israelites are off. And that's a fact. Most of our women are off. This carefree spirit. I can do whatever I please. God knows my heart. No, you're going to die with your heart, your bugged out mindset. Let's go here first. So we're in spiritual Sodom in Egypt, pursuant to Revelation 11 and 8. Isaiah 19, verse 18. And that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction. So America, the daughter of Babylon, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, is that land that's going to go into perdition, pursuant to Revelation 17. So we're teaching on five major continents. And it's, no, it's not by accident Sodom and Gomorrah was comprised of five cities. Somebody please post those five cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. 
is not America or the daughter of Babylon, spiritual Sodom and Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah through the spirit. So we're speaking the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, some brothers better than others, that language of Canaan. See, Isaiah 19 and 18, in that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. So the elect are worshiping Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in the land of Babylon, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. So we are the congregation of the saints, Lord willing. So this is an altar of praise and worship and sacrifice for the wicked along with the two-third rebels of the house of Israel. So we're building an altar in the land of Basra. Is it not written, the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra? See, let's go here. Exodus 20 and 23. <clears throat> Whenever there's an altar built, it's dedicated to a name. No different from when we build a memorial in the Hebrew to, Zi uh, to Zion or Zion. See, let's go to Exodus 20 and 13. So it's dedicated to a name, the author and finisher of our faith. <clears throat> Exodus 20 and 23. You shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold. An altar of earth shall thou make unto me, and shall sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen, in all places where I record my name. I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. So his name is in the midst of the congregation of his elect, the saints. An altar is being built. This is spiritual Sodom in Egypt. So we're speaking the language of Canaan. We're making our bodies a living sacrifice. So this is a spiritual altar being built by us worshiping and praising him in spirit and truth and calling on his name. We just read it. Exodus 20 and 24, an altar of earth shall thou make unto me and shall sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings and thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen in all places where I record thy name. I will come unto thee and I will bless thee. Is it not written, ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. So we must have his name in order to be a legitimate, recognizable altar, a place of sacrifice, just like Moses built. Let's go here. So Basra is a sacrifice, an altar, if somebody can post Isaiah 36, Isaiah 34 and 6, please. So in the same place where the Israelites are worshiping and praising Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in spirit and truth, the wicked, along with the house of rebels, Israelites, are being prepared to be slaughtered. Or the Gabar Adama, 2 Peter 2 and 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So many people 
prefer to go in the way of their own heart, their own feelings. They're just looking for those teachers that they like to scratch their itch, to tell them something they want to hear. Itching ears. Second Peter 2 and 3. And through covetousness shall they, with feigned words, make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. So these wicked men are back from the old days, the murmurers, the backbiters, the scoffers, the rebels, when we were in the wilderness and they died in place. They're back again, trying to come up with their own way, seeking salvation through their own path and out of the feelings or emotions of their heart, which is misleading, deceiving. Second Peter 2 and 4, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Okay, it got cut off. So the Israelites are those angels that were, that were, um, that were sentenced to judgment, to serve out our punishment, to serve our enemies in these fleshly bodies. It's going to Brother Shapal of the Twelve, Isaiah 34 and 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idomia. See? So the altar of the Lord is where the Israelites are making themselves a living sacrifice through our works. So our bodies are on the line. And at the same time, the wicked are going to be slaughtered. So they don't have the blood of Yahweh to cover them. But the Lord's elect of the house of Israel does. Let's go here. See, so as Moses lifted up a serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. So we're building an altar now in spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Yep, Brother Gabari Yash. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, beautiful, and be not conformed to this world. No, we can do our own thing and say, God knows my heart. I'm going to continue to mess with my brother's wife, eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween. We're supposed to come out of the wicked ways of the heathen and learn none of their ways. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So this must be a acceptable sacrifice without spot or blemish covered under the blood of the lamb Yahawashai, without spot or blemish remember the schoolmaster taught us you can't sacrifice a lamb with broken legs damn skin disease deformed defected so we must conform our ways to the walk that Yahweh Shai took to do the will of the Heavenly Father. Brother Mashiach Arazakah, Ephesians 5 and 11, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So walking around talking about God knows my heart and still walking in darkness, blinded by the ways of Babylon, Spiritual Sodom and Egypt. <laughs> Spiritual Sodom in Egypt. 
that we're not born again. We're not clean. We're not washed by the word or renewed. We're still that old grimy ass Negro calling ourselves an Afro-American. Bug out. Brother Ashba, Shalom, beloved, Barakata. First Samuel, 15, First Samuel 15 and 22. And Samuel said, have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. So the Lord requires action to submit unto him. Is it not written, he is our husband and we are his bride? First Samuel 15 and 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. So we stay servants, handmaids, peasants. We stay as a vulnerable worm when we rebel. We stay as good, happy slaves under Caesar. Caesar is the king of the rebels, of those with the new God knows my heart doctrine or seeking after their own salvation. Or the basic wisdom, Shalom, Barakatha, Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So our bodies must be without spot or without defect, coming with sincerity, integrity, Worshiping in full spirit and truth. Following the ways of Yahawashai. Was he out at a damn uh, a strip club, hanging out at a bar all night, getting drunk and passing out? Where well, they had to find him the next day and drag him home? Was he chasing money, hoes, and clothes? All a nigga knows. No. Was he out gambling? You know how much you got on this, this next go round? And throwing dice, slamming the dice? <laughs> no, Yahweh Shai was engaged in the business of, of the ministry, which starts with the name. I'm going to go back on track. Psalms 34 and 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt the name together. So Yahweh Shai was upholding a valuable label, the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the label cannot be tainted. The ministry cannot be blamed for vomit, for leaven, lumps in this fine dough or this masterpiece that the Lord is baking or putting together. So the name is behind our ministry, our work. Let's read that again. <clears throat> Psalms 34 and 3. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So the congregation of the saints are doing this. But you got Israelites saying, God knows my heart. If you're standing or if you're still putting the vibration of Jesus cross in the atmosphere, then that is the spirit of Jesus Dionysius, the God of reveling or partying, the God of wine, orgies. You see? So you're putting a demonic spirit in the earth, a false God spirit, Dionysius Jesus. See? A false God or you can do what thou wilt. So you're worshiping the spiritual demon, Satan, through that man of sin, the son of perdition, sleazy E. Why you think a lot of our men and women and children are rebellious? They're drunk off the wine of Babylon, a spiritual intoxication. Psalms 34 and 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me 
and delivered me from all my fears. So the name is the key to salvation. Pursuant to Acts 4 and 12. Pursuant to Zechariah 13 and 9. Without the name, there is no fame, glory, salvation, or deliverance. Yup. Brother Shapa of the Twelve, Shalom, beloved, Barakata, Philippians 2 and 9. Wherefore, God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. This is why the angel Gabriel told Mary, you shall have a son and his name shall be called Yahawashai, for he shall save his people. So in the Hebrew Israelite customs and traditions, our names were assigned to us based off of characteristics, behavior traits, or prophecy, what we were destined to do based on our lot. <clears throat> yep, for the Shapa of the Twelve, Acts 2 and 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So there is no other way calling on the gods of the other nations, which are idols. Brother Gabar Ayash, Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and is safe. So the elect are praising his holy name. The elect is praising his holy name, which is really tied to fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and is a testament to the strength of our faith. If we think we can call him Yo Play Yogurt, then we're going to get jacked up and die in place with the caveman. We're going to die the death of the uncircumcised, like a savage beast. Let's go to Psalms 113 and 1. Psalms 113 and 1. Praise, praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. IUIC said we can just call him Yo Play Yogurt or Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to kill the leadership of you false prophets. He's going to kill you and the men that are not speaking out against these crimes. Get out of that we boy spirit. That boys in the hood, Negro spirit. We're all Israelites. We got to save the nation. Bring the nation together. The Lord don't give a damn about the rebels or the rejects in the spirit of Saul. Doing our own thing. S Psalms 113 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. So his name is not done away with. How do you get over that scripture if his name is done away with? And we can just call on the devil because God knows our heart. A lot of Jake's got to be destroyed, eliminated from off the face of the earth. The fat is trimmed away on these sacrifices. So you got a wicked reject class of Israelites that are not right, that are going to be destroyed on this side. And the Lord is going to accept lean, lean meat or lean, clean offerings of the elect, the choice cuts. Brother Mashiach Arazakah, Hebrews 6 and 10. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So this comes with work requirements. I can't just say I love you and I'm beating the hell out of you every day. You know, I love you. Good night. Turn off the lights. You see, that's not love or not even Help to build you up by teaching. Edify means to build. So this is a ministering requirement. 
and a requirement of sacrifice of good service, integrity, and truth. So it must be pure in its raw form, raw honey, not genetically modified based on our emotions and opinions. All the emotional jakes are going to be destroyed on this side with Big Mama's spirit on them. You see, just call on Jeebus, honey, and he loves you just the way you are, okay? Big Mama's going to get your ass killed, not killed, killed, all right? Dying the Negro's death, mouth wide open and blood coming out of your damn eyes and mouth and nose. Bugged out following Big Mama and her emotions. The Lord ain't dealing with feelings, but truth. Let's go to Psalms 96 and 2. <coughs> the book of Psalms 96, verse 2. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. So we're doing that now in song and praise. Through this doctrinal melody. How many of you know a song with no name? That's bugged out. So these false prophets are just downplaying the spiritual vibration and significance of his name. There's no altar without a name. There is no memorial or Zion or Tezion without a name. What song you know has no name? The Lord got to kill a lot of niggas. He's got to kill a lot of niggas. I'm just being honest. I'm just telling you the truth. That's going to offend somebody. For the basic wisdom, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. So the author and finisher of our faith has a name and a structured order. There is a formula to worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We just can't come as we are, like Big Mama said like the shaved face, baby face, shaved head pastor taught us, that God loves you the way you are. So I can be an adulterer in the church of the saints. I can be a murderer among the saints. I can be an idolatrous among the saints. No. Yup, Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Beautiful. Brother Bayan Yasharala, Titus 1 and 9, holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many untruly, Titus 1 and 9, excuse me, holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers, deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So most jakes are not right. I'll keep saying that. So we got to know that and keep that in our mind when we're dealing with Jake. They're not going to say I'm wrong. They're not going to say I apologize. I went off. They're not going to say, you know what, I, I need to get this right and correct my doctrine. I was going off. Most jakes are not going to do that. They're not right. Psalms 96 and 2. So the doctrine must be sound, impenetrable, concrete, no holes in it. Many of these false teachers have more holes in their doctrine than Swiss cheese. Okay, it's unholy in a spiritual sense. Psalms 96 and 2. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. So we can't chant the names of the other gods. That's a death sentence according to our law. 
So how in the hell are we still calling on Jesus Christ, Jesus, Dionysius, Greek gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. So we were given false gods, idols of the Greeks, of the Romans, of the Egyptians, of the Assyrians, idols of the Medo-Persians, like Anana. Remember that wicked Negro? Um, what was his name? The child molester or got accused of child molesting and got sentenced to prison. R. Kelly. Oh, uh, nah, nah, I don't want to say that much. But he even made a name chanting this queen of heaven worship stuff. Let's go here. To uh, <clears throat> So there is wisdom in knowing the name of the almighty, the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the omnipresent. There is wisdom in exalting and praising that name. I'm going to prove it. Let's go to Daniel 2 and 20. Daniel 2, verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his forever. Is that name blessed? Which is connected to wisdom. So it's wise to call on the creator of the universe. The all-powerful, the source of power, energy, and light. The source of life. It is wise to do that. We just read it. Let's read that again. Daniel 2 and 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. So how is his name done away with? Let's go to Micah 6 and 9. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod and who have appointed it. So the city of David is being built in these last days. Point blank, period. Let's go to Micah 6 and 3. O oh, my people, what have I done unto thee, and wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me, for I brought thee out of the land of Egypt and redeemed thee out of the house of servants. And I sent before thee Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what Balak king of Moab consulted and what Balaam the son of Beor answered him from Shittim unto Gagal, that ye may know the righteousness of the Lord. So we're not going to be saved by the gods of the other nations the gods of the heathen, the idols, by chanting Jebus, Anana, by chanting gods that cannot save. Brother, true gospel, Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So wherever we're chanting another god's name, we are sending forth a vibration throughout the universe, the atmosphere. So the gods like Jesus Christ is a God that promotes partying, adultery, witchcraft, do what thou wilt. So it is a major tenet of Satanism, which is enclosed or embodied in freedom of religion. So the serpent was cunning to craft this up. I'm giving you freedom from the God of the Bible. What God of the Bible? The God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are released from only worshiping one God now. You see how cunning and crafty, crafty, sleazy he was? 
Now you can have power over your man. Now Jesus is your husband. That's your head now. So you can rebel and serve Satan. But I'm giving you liberty though. Sleazy E is undoubtedly, undeniably, truly the devil that the Bible speaks of. And it's as, as witchcraft, as the beloved brother Ashba posted. I believe it was 1 Samuel 15 and 23 and 24. Let's read what wisdom is again. Micah 6 and 9. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and who have appointed it. So the, the men of wisdom, the men of the elect, can see and chant and call and believe on his name. But the Lord is going to kill a lot of black niggas that have not come out of darkness, that have not donned the covering of light, wisdom, not shining in the armor of this doctrine. And most of the two-thirds are women that are married unto Jesus' cross the golden retriever with blonde hair and blue eyes. You're going to die with that golden retriever, Eve. I'm just telling you. Which really goes back to ancient Egypt. They worshiped that dog. I think it was called Horus. They believed in the Trinity. Isis, the mother goddess, and Osiris, the father, and Horus, the son. So they believed in these idolatrous false gods. Let's go to Sirach. <coughs> Sirach 6 and 21. Let's go to Sirach 6 and 20 and 20. The book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 20. It's talking about wisdom. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. Say that again. So those saying that you can do what you want, God knows your heart. There is no order, there is no structure. There is no formula. There is no name. No one name to worship the God of the Bible. The true power. They want to go back to do what thou wilt. This rebellious spirit. See, let's go here. Sirach 6, 6 and 20. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. They're going to just continue to do what they're doing. Look at the purple people eaters. They're devouring the flesh of Jacob. Go back to being a Christian Negro underneath this system of Jebus. Go back to worshiping the God of reveling, rebellion, partying. See that? So it's the spirit of discipline is unpleasant to a Negro. The Bible proves it. they rather stay black. You see, I'm black and I'm proud. Black represents darkness, ignorance, wickedness. Black and I'm proud. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. So wisdom is a burden to a rebel. Structure is a burden to a rebel. They won't carry their own cross, which means they won't even teach or make their bodies a living sacrifice. They will not abide in the day of trouble in the sound doctrine, under the tabernacle of the Lord, a hiding place, a safe place. When you rebuke a wicked nigga, they get offended by it. When you rebuke a nigga, they get offended. They got to give us Barabbas spirit. Don't tell us we got to follow structure and order. Don't tell us that's a wicked nigga. We're going to stay black. Sirach 6 and 22. For wisdom is according to her name. And she is not manifest unto many. So the spirit of discipline 
will flee that spirit of I can do what I want. I'm above correction. I can call him whatever I want. God knows that I mean well. If you know better, do better. Stop being a goddamn nigga. So we got to get out of the spirit of what we've been taught by our slave masters. We're tired of being at the bottom and subject to idolatrous gods and base people over us because we refuse to get correction or to correct our brothers that are going off. Let's get this one. Brother Basic Wisdom, Shalom. First Peter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him that have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Beautiful. So we're not black. We're not ignorant, sinister, wicked. We are the sons of the living God. Nobles. Yashar Allah. So we ought to be lighting the path by which to follow, holding the torch to show the nations the right way. We ought to receive correction with the water. Thank you. I did not know that I was off. I went off. I'm wrong. Sorry for that. Salakia. Instead of how dare you correct me. That's a, that's a feminine spirit. You mean I'm wrong? Yes, you're wrong. Brother Zadok, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are such as children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Exactly. So we cannot send forth demonic vibrations and expect blessings like calling on false gods. We're putting in black energy. If you've ever studied black magic, there's certain chants you got to make in order to cause demons to manifest themselves. You got to put in a, I'm not going to go into detail because Jake might try it. You got to use certain symbols and emblems like in the, uh, the keys of Solomon, the book of magic and witchcraft. But I'm not going to go further than that. There's certain names of gods or demonic entities you got to chant. So how can we dare say his name don't matter? This is why the Lord got to kill a lot of people. He's, he, th this is why it's written. It's, it makes me really, it, it's frustrating. A lot of Jakes are not born again. So Rock 6 and 22, for wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. So the two-thirds are going to become sacrifices, literally. They're not covered by the blood of the Lamb. Why? Because they're calling on false gods. And they're worshiping, seeking out their own salvation. They're still calling on Greek gods and deities. They're still worshiping the queen mother of heaven goddesses. Okay? Ashtoreth, Ishtar, Anana, Diana. You see? Worshiping their spouse. They're bugged out. Brother Gabar, Brother GMS Gospel of North Carolina, Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So we're supposed to be demonstrating wisdom, that torch, a light, glorifying his name with sound doctrine, following the author and finisher of our faith. Brother Shapal of the Twelve, Exodus 19 and 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So there shall be no other gods before me. 
and thou shalt not take the Lord thy God in vain. So why are we still calling on Greek and Roman gods, Egyptian gods, Medo-Persian gods? Look at that, that damn um, Timon looking Negro, looking like Timon from Lion King, uh, polite, worshiping the queen of heaven spirit, shooting up the Bible with a machine gun. How many saw that? Worshiping the queen mother of heaven. Now his black ass is facing a 30-year sentence. He's got to do guarantee or mandatory seven years. But if he break his probation, he can be facing 30 years. But hopefully we get out of here within the next year. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So demonstrating light is demonstrating the right path. The word should be a lamp unto our feet. So look what happens when you mock the men of the Lord, polite. You shot up the Bible. And you, you, you mocked us talking about no man in the sky is going to come save us. We know the prophecies. So now you got to protect your backside with a chastity belt to prevent from being taken by Big Bubba, okay? Because you thought the word was a game. And there's still a lot, a lot of Jake's playing games. Like when you bring, bring correction, they get offended by it and won't accept correction or calling out a Negro that's not right. Let's go here. One moment. Let's go to uh, Sirach 39 and 15. The book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 15. Magnify his name and show forth his praise with the songs of your lips and with hearts. And in praising him, ye shall say after this manner, all the works of the Lord are exceeding good and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season. Well, magnifying his name, chanting this place down, like they did the walls of Jericho. So it comes with instructions, order. The song and the melody has to be just right. We cannot be out of tune, teaching a false doctrine and trying to marry it with the scriptures, the holy doctrine. So by default, the holy name is attached to the correct doctrine, which is pure. Does not need to be chopped down or mixed in with something else, like Islam, Buddhism, Confucianism, the Kemetic gods, or Kemet, Christianity, or false Christianity. It does not need to be mixed in or chopped up to make Others feel good. All nations are going to get salvation under this doctrine. That's off. The woman is over the man. We can continue coochie worship or goddess worship. It's off. Everybody under the nation of Israel is going to get saved. Stop rebuking a brother that's going off. That's off. The Lord is only dealing with an elect that's shining forth the light of this glorious gospel. But he's going to kill a lot of rebels that are offended by his ways. Let's go to Psalms 86 and 12. There's many jakes that are offended that two turds are going to be cut off in the daughter of Babylon, by the way, too. They're offended by that. They don't believe the way the Most High is equal. They believe the Most High got it wrong on a few things. I like this part of the Bible, but that other part, go ahead and wipe that out. So they got pages whited out in their Bible because they're offended in the ways of the Most High, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And there's going to come a point in time where the mighty men of the house of David is going to be raised up. And if you're a broke back ass Jake, you're going to totally be destroyed, broken in half and beat to powder. The day of the effeminate man 
is going to be eradicated from off the face of the earth. Brothers, Gabar Ayash, Proverbs 30 and 4, who have ascended up into heaven or descended, who have gathered the wind into his fist, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. So wisdom has revealed this name to us. A comforting, nurturing spirit. The comforter. Wisdom has, has opened up this spring water. This fountain of life. Let's go to Sirach 50 and 29. Let's go to Sirach 50 and 28. A book of Sirach chapter 50. Verse 28, blessed is he that shall be exercised in these things. And he that layeth them up in his heart shall become wise. So we got to devour the full doctrine and not spit out what we are displeased with. We got to take the bitter, the sweet, the sour. For if he do them, he shall be strong to all things. For the light of the Lord leadeth him who giveth wisdom to the godly. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. So you've been destroyed, purple people eaters. You've been destroyed, you false prophets. The Bible says his name endures forever. Let's read this again for the rebels. I believe the Most High got it wrong. God knows my heart. Big Mama Spirit with Jeebus on the wall, dusting it off and wiping it down. <laughs> her husband, her lover. Sirach 50 and 28. Blessed is he that shall be exercised in these things. Wisdom. And he that layeth them up in his heart shall become wise. So the spirit of discipline must be deeply ingrained into us, which comes with fearing Yahweh by Shimei Habashai. We're afraid to call on the gods of the other nations. We're afraid to deviate from his instruction book. For if he do them, he shall be strong to all things. For the light of the Lord leadeth him who giveth wisdom to the godly, blessed be the name of the Lord forever. So how can his name be done away with? This is why a lot of killing must commence. But we got to be patient through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Sirach. Not Sirach. Let's go to Psalms 86 and 12. A book of Psalms, 86, verse 12. I will praise thee, O Lord, my power, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. So that name is a memorial unto us, a guideline. It is a, a beacon of light for us, which carries the doctrine. It is the label of what we're following. So the Most High has buy-in amongst his elect. We have bought in to this doctrine, which carry his name. The label on this is pure. It does not need to be chopped up or mixed in or diluted with our emotions, our feelings, or the other doctrines, or the other gods. It's pure in its pure form. I'm going to get that in Psalms 12, please. I think it's verse 6. Psalms 86 and 13. For great is thy mercy towards me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. So the salvation and deliverance starts with the name. Let's read Psalms 86 and 12 again. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart. And I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy towards me. 
and thou hast delivered me from the lowest hell. Beautiful. Let's get this one, Brother GMS Spiritual Art 144, Shalom, Barakatah, Acts 20 and 26. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High, which starts with his name. So the doctrine and the name are attached, inseparable. Or the Shapal of the 12, Psalms 12 and 6, the words of the Lord. Psalms 12 and 6, the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. So how was his name done away with? When did the doctrine change? When? When did he change his name? Malachi 3, please. I am the Lord, I change. So when did the doctrine change? When did he change his mind? So the Most High is unstable. Is that what you're saying? He changed his mind. Malachi 3, please. I think it's 3 and 6. Let's go here to Psalms 52 and 9. We're going to wrap this up. Psalms 52 and 9. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. So we got to wait on him to be delivered, to be preserved, to be taken up into the clouds, into the chariots of the Lord, the so called UFOs. We got to trust in his name and fear his word. We got to fear his name and tremble at his word. Both. Right here. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So he told us he would save us. He said that my people shall call on my name. And I will say it is my people and they shall say he is my power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Psalms 140, verse 13. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Because we trust on his name. Because we believe in him. Because we fear Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai then Lord willing, we're going to dwell in his tabernacle forever and be crowned with the crowns of eternal glory. Psalms 106, verse 47. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Remember Romans chapter 9, that he said that he's going to do this to magnify his name when he brings judgment upon Edom, which is spiritual Pharaoh, Egypt. If somebody can please post that in Romans 9. So it's all about him getting the glory, him getting the praise and the exaltation, him being magnified, him being shown his strength to the nations, his judgments, his justice, his equity, his balance. He gets the glory, not our own effeminate emotional perspectives. Yup, Brother GMS Spiritual Art 144, Sirach 1 and 4. Wisdom have been created before all things and the understanding of the prudence from everlasting. The word of God, most high, is the fountain of wisdom, and her ways are everlasting commandments. A part of that is, thou shalt have no other gods before me, period. So how in the hell can we just continue to defy the will of the Heavenly Father and through his intercessor, Yahweh Shai? 
Brother Gabar Ayash, Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So the Edomites were raised up just to be destroyed. Vessels of dishonor created for destruction, reserved unto that great and terrible day of the Lord. So he brought them up just to show his might and judgment and power, to show that his ways are righteous by judging the wicked and tearing down their kingdom. Is it not written, they shall build, but I will throw down? He was talking about Edom, the modern Pharaoh. So they were created just so his name can be glorified. And then the vessels of mercy, the Israelites, were created so his name can be glorified. His witnesses are on the scene of the crime, in bondage, underneath those that led us away captive. Is it not written, he that stilleth a man, and if he be found with him, shall surely be put to death. Somebody please post that. So he must show that his, he stands behind his word through his name and power, and that he is faithful and true. His judgments are faithful and true. He must show that, that he stands behind what he says. So his name is on the line. See, Psalms 106 and 47. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Let's go to Psalms 116 and 13. So we're going to triumph through the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're going to tread down our enemies through the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're going to see the judgment of the wicked, the caveman put back in chains, and the pit of bondage, slavery, or the basic wisdom, Psalms 22 and 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Beautiful. So we cannot give praise and sing a song when we don't even know the song or the notes, the doctrine. Psalms 116 and 13. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. So we're drinking from the fountain of life, his word. But it comes with knowing the label, knowing the title of this endeavor. Who's behind it? The sure foundation of our faith. So it comes with the judgments, the good, the bad, the ugly, the sweet and the bitter, the cup of salvation. It comes with suffering. Suffering is promotion. Psalms 116 and 13. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. So we must suffer. We must suffer in the flesh. We must be tempted, tried as gold is tried through the fiery furnace of affliction. And a part of that is putting our bodies on this burnt altar. That's why the, the lambs and rams and goats were sacrificed on the altar, to show us the things to come. Whatsoever was written aforetime was written for our learning. Let's close out here. My voice is getting very dry. Imagine every time you spoke, you choke. Imagine every time you spoke, you choke. But it's something that I did in my former life. So I deserve it, whatever it, did, whatever it is. Anyway, let's close out here. 
Let's close out with Psalms 143 and 11. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. So the quicken means to be brought or made alive. To be made alive or to be um, revived and brought out of trouble. So without knowing the doctrine, without knowing the name, we are dead. You see, through dead works. That's in a, uh, Hebrews 6 and 1. If, we're, if dead works make us dead, not knowing his name, with dry lips and ashy ash, uh, dry lips and ashy elbows, we're dead. Calling on false gods, we're dead. Not knowing the doctrine, we're dead. Not knowing his name, we're dead. And we're going to die because we are a walking dead man or zombie. Psalms 143 and 11. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble, and of thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. So there is no salvation other than through the righteous path of the prescribed doctrine and way. This is the way, walk ye in it. There is no shortcuts or deviations. There is no God knows my heart, so he's going to accept me the way I am anyway. So we're supposed to strive and give diligence to make our calling and election sure and wash from the old filthy ways of this world, the daughter of Babylon, which includes idolatry, worshiping other gods, being rebellious, being an effeminate man, hating correction, being a masculine brute woman. We'll go ahead and end it there. Or the GMS Spiritual Art 144, Psalm 7 and 17. I will praise the Lord according to the righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Yahweh Bashem. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Forever, when you read the other scriptures associated with that precept. So we got to get out of this mindset of shortcuts, detours of the will of the Heavenly Father. I know I'm the man, so I'm going to go ahead and do whatever I want to do. You see, Jake hates to be corrected. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying, and that includes Eve as well. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honor and respect to the beloved apostles and elders and to the hopeful elect of the house of Israel, the house of David, and to the beloved, the beloved ladies listening and learning in meekness as the scriptures have said to do so. The water for your thoughts and prayers, the water for the brotherhood. Call him like him like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash, the water for access to this truth, to this word. We got to keep pushing, diligently laboring, and correction is good when we're, when we're going off. Just get practice in saying I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I went off. It's not that hard. I mean, unbelievable. Kwan Yasharala and the Bad Babal. Barack a thumb. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom. Let's go. Shalom.